Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on conducting a multinomial logistic regression using one dichotomous independent variable. So in multinomial logistic regression, we predict group membership. And as compared to binary logistic regression, which allows you to generate the probability of membership in one group or the other, multinomial logistic regression will handle more than two groups or two levels of the dependent or outcome variable. So I have some fictitious data loaded into the data view here in SPSS. And I have 100 participants. And there's a writing evaluation independent variable, two levels, uh, satisfactory or unsatisfactory. Unsatisfactory is coded as 0, and satisfactory is coded as 1. And let's say this is for a particular type of training program, and we want to look at the outcome. And the, there's three possible outcomes that we have recorded, uh, which is that the uh, participant graduated, uh, there was a graduation, but it was delayed, or there was no graduation. So no graduation is coded as 0, delayed as 1, and graduated as 2. So from the writing evaluation, we want to predict the probability that a participant will be in a particular level of the dependent variable. You know, either they graduated, there was a delayed graduation, or they did not graduate. So we'll move to analyze and then regression. And this will be a multinomial logistic regression. And first we'll load the dependent. And in this case, it's the outcome variable. So I'll load that in. And you can see it asks for the reference category. So in this case, since I have three levels, uh, the last category would be the one coded as 2, which is graduated. The first category would be the one coded as 0, which is uh, no graduation. And if I wanted to have the reference category be delayed graduation, I would just go to Custom and type in the value 1 and click Continue. But in this case, let's first look at the last category as the reference category. We'll click Continue here. Uh, we no changes to the model and statistics. I'll add uh, cell probabilities, information, and criteria. I'll click Continue. And then under criteria, this will remain the same and options remain the same. And save, I am going to generate the estimated response probabilities predicted category, predicted category probability, and actual category probability. So this will create new variables that will appear. And then looking at the two list boxes here, factor or covariate, the writing evaluation is nominal, so it's a factor in terms of multinomial logistic regression. A covariate would be in the scale level measurement. So if I had a variable with a scale level measurement, I would load it here in covariate. So at this point, I'm ready to hit OK for this multinomial logistic regression and take a look at the output. So you can see no missing cases here in the case processing summary. And the model fitting information, we have a statistically significant value, and that is what we would want. Moving down, uh, looking at the pseudo R square, interpreting the second value here, uh, we interpret this as the model explains 48.1% for the variance. So that's, that's pretty good. And then we have the likelihood ratio test. Again, we're looking for significance, and we have it. So now I'll take a look at parameter estimates. So the way this works, uh, when I set the reference category, you can see it's down here, graduated, is that these metrics are comparing this outcome, uh, no graduation, to graduated. And these metrics are comparing delayed graduation to graduated. And we see that we have the writing evaluation is uh, equal to 0. Remember, that's unsatisfactory, and 1 is satisfactory. So let's take it, a look at no graduation as compared to graduated. Right? So if we have a unsatisfactory 
writing evaluation, uh, we would interpret the odds ratio, which is the EXPB over here, uh, making sure we have significance. We have st statistical significance here and in delayed graduation for the writing evaluation is unsatisfactory. Okay, So in both cases for writing evaluation, we have statistical significance. So looking at the odds ratio, what this tells us is that a participant receiving an unsatisfactory score on the writing evaluation is 37 times more likely to be in the no graduation group as compared to the graduation group. 37 times more likely. If this value were equal to 1, it would be the same likelihood between unsatisfactory and satisfactory. It would be the same likelihood of um, not graduating or graduating. And if it was less than 1, they would be at less risk of being in the no graduation category if they're in the unsatisfactory writing evaluation category. So looking now down at the uh, delayed graduation versus uh, graduated. And you can see here uh, the results are even more, more dramatic. You have the writing evaluation as unsatisfactory. Uh, a participant in that category is 140 times more likely to be in the delayed graduation group than the, the graduated group. So below parameter estimates, there is another table, observed and predicted, predicted frequencies. And you can see we have uh, unsatisfactory and satisfactory, both levels of the writing evaluation and all three levels of the outcome. And we have the observed uh, number that fall into uh, those pairs, right? So unsatisfactory uh, that were in no graduation, there were six, unsatisfactory delayed, there were 20, and only one with unsatisfactory uh, graduated. It also gives you the observed and predicted uh, percentages associated with that. And then here it's satisfactory. Uh, out of the satisfactory group, uh, nine did not graduate, eight were delayed, but 56 graduated. So let's move back to the data view. Uh, I saved variables as part of the procedure. and I want to explain what these are. So the first three are the estimated cell probabilities for each category, 0, 1, and 2. Uh, so this would be uh, no graduation, delayed graduation, and graduated. So these are the probabilities generated by the multinomial logistic regression. So you can see in the first case, the writing evaluation was satisfactory, the outcome was graduated, and that was actually the predicted outcome. The model predicted that outcome 77% chance that would happen, so that became the predicted outcome. And you can see these last two variables are the estimated classification probability for the predicted category and for the actual category. So if we take a look at the second case, you can see here the model generated the wrong answer. Right? We had satisfactory, and then the outcome was delayed graduation. It again estimated there was a 77% chance uh, that this uh, participant uh, would have graduated, but in fact, uh, they didn't, right? So the actual was 11%, the probability associated with the actual result. So it's a good idea to take a look at these saved variables uh, to see instances uh, where the model correctly predicted uh, the actual result and those instances where it did not. I also want to show you another angle on the reference category, right? So if I go back into multinomial logistic and I change the reference category from the last category, which is graduated, to the first category, which, is, which was no graduation. Uh, I'm going to click continue. I'm also just going to remove the saved variables rather than reproduce those again. I'll click OK. And you can see this information is the same, but the way the parameter estimates are now generated. No graduation is the reference category. So delayed graduation is compared to no graduation and graduated is compared to no graduation. So in this instance uh, we can see that the writing evaluation of unsatisfactory. We have statistical significance in the de delayed graduation uh, outcome as well as in the graduated outcome. We have statistical significance there too. Anything below 0.05 
would be statistically significant. And when interpreting uh, this value here, the odds ratio, in this instance, we know that uh, a participant with a unsatisfactory evaluation is 3.7 times more likely to be in the delayed graduation group or level than the no graduation level. And the way we would interpret this value here, you can see this is uh, well below zero, is we would take one and subtract this value, and that gives us 97.3%. So what that tells us is a participant in the unsatisfactory writing evaluation level is 97.3% less likely to be in the graduated outcome than in the no graduation outcome. I hope you found this video on conducting a multinomial logistic regression with one dichotomous independent variable to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.